Lazy Girl Approved fam. I am back today with another review, this time of a Bobby Boss uh, wig. And I will say that I recorded like eight videos today earlier uh, with no sound. Microphone was turned off. So I'm going to re-record these, but I can't put the lace back on and whatnot. But I mean, you guys can see what it looks like. That's really the ultimate goal here. And I can still show you inside the cap. So let's just get to it um today has been a weird day and that was just the icing on the cake of my weird day so we are going to check out bobby boss uh, mlf 642 panese and i have it in two colors the first one is tt macaron which i've seen a review or quite a few reviews of this one that's on the card which is the second color but the one I'm about to do right now is, it's always backwards, is this one here. And it was kind of hard to tell what it was going to look like in real life. Um, so let's take a look at it now. I take chances on these things, hoping they'll turn out well. So this is what she's looking like. She's got some purple, let's see if I can scoot back, purple at the top. And this is... It's like a white, but it's, I don't know. It's not like white, white. I don't know how to, it's like cream. It's like off white. And then you have some reds and blues and greens intermixed here. So she's definitely unique. Let me show you inside. And remember, I already cut off the lace. So uh, two combs in the front. This is the part and it is a closed cap. One comb in the back there in the middle, and then of course the elastic stretchy strappies. So that is the cap. Let me get her on my head for you. Let me take this off. And I think wearing the headband, I don't think I'm gonna wear headbands with my wigs out. It feels like it just holds it in place. It's, uh, pretty crazy and weird, but awesome. Okay. Oof. So, she is tangly, which I expect from uh, straight long wigs. Uh, straight silky long. Well, just straight long, period. She gets, uh, they get tangly really easy, so... Whenever I'm wearing a straight long one, I definitely bring a brush or a comb or whatever with me. Oof. If y'all be able to hear that, she's dumb tangly. So, let me get her brushed out here. So, this is what we're working with. Okay. So... I love the color pops. Um, it's kind of like a peekaboo of green and blue on the bottom. I think she's gorgeous. She's super soft. But the tangly thing, you know, is, is a downside. She's not super duper thin, but she's not thick. Um, like there's a lot of hair, but it's, you know, it's not super thick. I think what's throwing me off is this purple on the top. Um, and I'll definitely, you definitely would have to put some powder in there. I don't think that looks very realistic just out of the box. You either put powder or root it. And I just take uh, pieces of paper like this to cover it and then just spray it with the L'Oreal or Clairol, whatever it is. I don't know which one it is. The root touch up. I do the dark spray, dark brown. Um, but you can do as you wish to it. Um, but I think this purple is throwing me off because I, I personally would not put purple and red together. Maybe if this didn't have red, like if this was just blue and green. Um, but that's just me. I don't know what makes it to me. It, the way they did this color combination, it doesn't look as realistic as I think it would without that purple. 
Um, but let's get a 360 view of her. Okay, now that you've seen the 360, what do you think? Um, so let's test big head friendly. So let me see. So the cap is at the bottom of my nape. It's big head friendly. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stretch in there. There's a lot of stretch. It doesn't smell funny. It just smells like, um, I feel like each brand has their own unique scent. It smells like a Bobby Boss wig. Um, it's like they have their own little perfume they put on it or something. Um, I, I don't hate it, but as far as lazy girl approval, I would say no, um, because you definitely have to do something. You'd have to root it. Like, I don't think even just powder would be enough. And then here, I, it, sometimes I like it when they do this where it comes up and out. But in this case, since it's white, you can just see the hairline and it does not look realistic. Now, if you don't care about looking realistic, then that's great. But it's, uh, you're not fooling anybody with this. Um, and for me, I think it's just the purple just doesn't do it for me. And then it's st just stupid tangly, like I'm barely even moving it and it's just tangling up. And again, all straight, long wigs tangle, but this is just like extra tangly. Like you would have to hot comb or straighten it to get it to kind of not be as tangly, but even then it's going to tangle like you have to have a brush and the ends feel like dry so um, you'll see with the next color I prefer it it's not like this um, okay so let me know what you think about this color in the comments do you like it do you not like it do you agree with this purple if the purple was in here would it look better Let's go on to the next color. All right, so the next color is that, uh, let's see, what is that? THL1B slash GBYR. GBYR. I don't know, y'all. It's the one in the picture. So, let's look at her. This is what she's looking like out of the packaging. She's gorgeous. Um, and because I saw other people reviewing her, like I fell in love with the color and this was like, um, I know there's already reviews on this, but I have to have her. So again, I already cut off the lace. Um, there's two combs in the front. There's one in the back and it is a closed cap. And let's get her on. Okay. So. She is way silkier and way less tangly. She's also thinner. Um, so that probably adds to... Uh, be less tangly. I'm not sure why she's so much thinner other than there's more. Oh, see, are there more colors? Yeah, because these aren't individual. These are the other one. It was individual colors. So it has more density. Whereas these are different colors in one strand. If that makes sense. How I said it. <laughs> it made sense in my head. Um, but she's freaking so soft, y'all. Like, it's like, like touching a baby's butt. 
not in a gross way. I have children. Yeah, I don't wipe their butts. All right. So she, um, is it? It's supposed to have baby hairs. It's just a broken hair. Um, the cap, the cap on this one is way more comfortable. Uh, it, it might be the same cap, but it doesn't feel like it. Um, and I've noticed that with different colors, there's sometimes variations even in the same style. So she. Her cap is stupid comfortable. Her hair is stupid soft. Soft AF. Um, yeah. She's, let's make sure she's also big head friendly. Yep, she is big head friendly. I can come all the way down there with it being still at the nape of my neck. And she also smells the same, the Bobby Boss scent. Um, yeah. So let's get a 360 of her. Let's do Alright, so now that you have seen a 360, what do you think? Um, this color gets a Lazy Girl approved thumbs up. The other color did not. This one, just cut the lace. You could put powder in the part, but honestly, you could just go like this. I would anyways, because, again, lazy. Um, and it's, you know, it's not bad. If I had a uh, skin color wig cap, it would be even better. So, um, she's easy. She's super soft. Colors are super gorgy. Um, I don't feel like she's going to tangle. Do you want to have your brush? Probably because it's straight and long. But, I mean, I'm able to just run my fingers through her. No problem. Whereas the other color was a big problem. So, she gets a lazy girl approved thumbs up. I keep doing that today. Hang loose, dude. From San Diego, what can I say? <laughs> she gets the thumbs up because she's easy. She's lazy. She's gorgeous. She's comfortable. And she's soft. So, um, she gets the thumbs up. But I would say she's worth 45 Mostly. I mean... She's gorgeous. She's unique. It gives me sort of like a Native American vibe, honestly. Southwest vibe. Um, yeah, she's gorgeous. She's worth 45 The other one, not so much. Um, but this color, yes. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Do you like the other one? Do you like this one? What do you think? Um, and as always, thank you for hanging out with me. I am super appreciative and don't forget to follow me on my other social media accounts. I will see you guys soon. Thanks guys. Bye.